In MS Excel, we have different functions for searching for a record in a data set like XLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and INDEX MATCH. For example, if we have a data set that contains images along with some data, and we want to search for a specific record and we want to find data along with image. In today's video, we are going to construct a method to find images along with data from a data set. Let's begin. As you can see on this data set that we have a list of products where we have product ID, product name, price, quantity and product photo. And in this search bar, we want to type the name of a product and we want to fetch the price, quantity and product photo here from that list. We can do that very easily for the price and quantity, but let's check for the product photo as well. First of all, we want to have the list of all the products under the product name. So for that, I'll click here, go to the data menu and click on this data validation. Select list from this dropdown and in the source, we can just go to the products, select all the products name from this product name list, click OK. And that's it now we have a drop down and we will have all the product names listed for example if i want to select cup from this list i would like to see the price quantity and product photo for achieving this we can just type xlookup and in the xlookup value we will select this cup comma in the lookup array we will select this product name list select all comma and you want to return the other three fields that is the price quantity and product photo so let me select all of them close parentheses press enter and now we have the price quantity and instead of product photo we have a zero this is because this cell does not contain the product image but the image is over the cell so for fetching this product photo and displaying it here we need to do a workaround let's do that right now so for finding the price and quantity, we will use the same method that is XLOOKUP. Look up for this value and in the lookup array, we will select this product name, comma, and we will return the other two columns that is price and quantity. So we will first fetch these two. Now for finding the product photo, what we can do is to go to this products data set and go to this product photo cell remember i'm going to the cell i'm not clicking on the image itself when i click on the image you can see it says this is picture too but i'm not selecting the image instead i'm going to the cell behind this image which is e2 you can see in this cell name we have e2 now i want to copy this cell by pressing ctrl c and now let's go to the search sheet under the product photo let me right click and in this paste special we have an option that is linked picture i will click this when i click linked picture it will bring all the content from that cell that we copied and will paste the content here you can see that this picture is linked to the e2 cell and we can see this in this formula bar now to change this photo by changing this product name we need to do some work around when I click a different item from this product name it changes these two columns but it doesn't change the product photo so to change the photo along with changing the name we need to go to the formulas tab click name manager and let's define a name for this let's click new and let's give it a name for example I want to give it a name photo search and in this refers to section let's clear everything and now let's type our xlookup formula here so i will say xlookup i want to look up for this product name comma the lookup array will be again the product name from this list comma and i want to return this product photo i will select all the photos close parentheses and click ok once I do this, it will create a name that is photo search and the name will refer to this function. Let me close this. When I click this picture, we will see this formula here. And if I change this manually from E4 to E3, we can see that the image will change by changing the reference. So instead of this formula, we can change this to the name that we defined earlier. So we can say that is this should be photo search 
the stamp and press enter now whenever we change the name from this product name let me select torch you can see that it changes price quantity and the product photo if we change it again to phone or pen it will change accordingly let me select again for example if i select laptop it will bring the laptop details here so this is how we can use xlookup function for finding images along with data from a given data set. if you are getting value from this video make sure to give it a like leave your comments in the comment section and make sure to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching